Let's continue. Uh, welcome back, YouTube. If you're watching later, thanks for clicking. Uh, is there a spot to cook here? I need to make some gloom resistance. If I'm gonna be down here. I, I mean, why would there be anywhere to cook their robots? But then again, they do exist in the sky, so... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it does, there doesn't appear to be anything here. Okay, let me go back up just real quickly just to make some... We will be doing this. We will be doing this. I just want to... Make some resistance food. Uh, they cook for Raru. I don't know what Raru is. <laughs> I don't think Raru is a goat. H has a third eye. So, it's like, Whatever Rara is, and then elves, I guess. Yeah, his the the middle thing is is a third eye. I, f I swear, there's a cutscene where it opens up. Mm, don't, yeah, I don't think he's the same species as Sonya, but like it'd be one of those things where still compatible enough. Like a donkey and a horse, you know? Oh, okay. Meat, salt, and two of these. It gave me six. That's fine. What about three and two? Let's see. Let's just see what's best. That's plus nine. I mean, that, that's in case things get really bad. I think I, I think I see how it works. It's like you're shifting the balance. But then if I do two gourmet meats and three of these, it's probably going to be better. Okay, so gourmet meat ends up with ten. What about rice, milk, cheese, meat, and that? It's a porridge. Cheese, <laughs> meat, and then one, two, three. The cheese got cancelled out. No cheesy meat. Disappointed. Um, I'm gonna make some standard heal food now, which... Oops, not wheat. <laughs> Nothing increases status effect to more of the status item, yeah. I mean, I think if you're making something that's not a generic recipe, it should reward you. That's the system it should be. But for some reason, they were just like, nah. Like, making a pizza, I'm sorry, that should be rewarding, you know? <laughs> By the way, if I do this... <laughs> See? I made a pizza. Look at- look at that!
It does look good, doesn't it? Seeing this picture made me get pizza on Friday. <laughs> That's a good one. But I have to start making these ones, right? Just things that are gonna heal me for a lot. I guess that's a motto. I don't know. So this became seafood. You know what? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> like, I get it. They tried to make everything work with everything. But I feel like going fix recipes and just having things then become just generic disasters would have made more sense. And given more of an incentive to hunt down a good recipe, you know? I would have preferred it if, like, practically everything gave you, like, a three-heart food. Unless you made some specific dish that was good. And one truffle does more than any of those recipes. Exactly. It's just... It's something that I, I figured they would fix in this, but they just left it the same. Just like, I don't know, um, the thing that people complained about, almost the same as uh, weapon durability in the previous game, they were like, nah. We have that correct. It's the players that are out of touch. Give them an armor. Okay. Primarily here for these. Because uh. next time I'm in a cold area, this is going to be useful. And I can wear the set. I. You hate how much the fairies moan. I know. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. And the last upgrade animation, uh. man. Like, it's just... Wow, I have the perfect mm -hmm. amount to get it to tier 2. You mute when talking to him. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. funny. Just imagine what I... what they'd sound like when they're actually very, very happy. Mm. You know? Uh... Mm. Uh. 
I have a mouthful of croissant while I'm uh, I'm doing this. <laughs> so I'm quiet. What you you don't want to listen to the the uh, the sounds of ecstasy as the fairy upgrades my food. I mean my my food, my clothes. But, you know, you feel bad for kids playing this near their parents. I think at that point it's easier to just say that, you know, if my parents were asking questions about this, I'd be like, it's porn. Uh. It's just easier to say it's porn. But I bet there are there are parents out there that wouldn't let their kids play this game on that basis, or maybe they bought them this game or the previous one, and then when they got up to this point, they would just take take it away from them. Ah. Uh. Mm. Mm. The game can be as violent as possible, but the moment sex and boobs are involved, that's forget about it. No, get that filth out of our house. I will not let this game corrupt your mind. Here, play Call of Duty instead. I mean, yeah, for some reason, violent games are tolerated more than, uh... Mm. Ah. Than ones that have, like, you know, sexual references. Not even things that may necessarily have things that are just... You know, straight up sex, it's just... Can be in interpreted that way. Ah. Mm. I need a frox fang, okay. But a little bit of gloom resistance, that'll go a long way. Ooh. I'm gonna upgrade this, because for the Gerudo area... High knock scale and Nadra scale. Maybe? Okay, you need scales to upgrade those. This is going to be 10 minutes of hearing this fairy just... ...happy about her work. Uh, 
Ah, shit. Mm. I, I couldn't resist. I had to. Am I listening to screaming in the background? No, come on. You should know that yell. Everyone knows this yell. I just put it in, in a low volume. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I may as well. Uh. She's just extra happy about her work, okay? Like, you know. Gotta do something to pass the time while upgrading all this clothing. You're gonna wake up in a cold sweat and just that's all you're going to hear. Mm. Ah. Choked on my coffee just thinking about the. Ugh. Funny. Not coffee, tea. <laughs> oh man, it went down the wrong tube. Ugh. You're all for nostalgia, but you would not have been sad if they had changed the fairies up. <laughs> Isn't nostalgia at this point? Who has nostalgia for these fairies, honestly? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go Gloom Resist Pants. The Oca Ocarina of Time fairies, though, they're fucking scary, the sounds they make. It's not like, you know, mm -hmm, it's just screaming. They're just almost like banshees. Uh... I'm trying to think what I should wear. I guess my highest defense is headdress, so... We'll do that. Look at this look here. I'm here to uh, buy arrows because I remembered I'm out. Yeah, sa, sa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you love the zero armor clock ring, but what? What? What do you mean? Do I want to know? Oh, it's a head. It's, it's a hair tie. <laughs> just immediate. I mean, if you're gonna say that, like, I'm surprised you haven't talked about just how. The shape of certain things are. Like, okay, okay confirm me. If you, if you want to go down the gutter, like... I point you to this. Thank you. 
And you can put that on the end of a weapon, yep. Uh. And also, you know, Link can also do this. <laughs> Straying further away from uh, decency. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna go... I, I'm going to multiple towns just to buy their arrows. That's all I'm doing. It's not going down a rabbit hole. It's more just buying stuff. Because I'm out of arrows. I guess what I'm saying is, like, you know... A hair tie? That's really what you picked to, uh, take the innocence away from? Plenty of other things you could have picked. Pip. While I am here, also, um, hang on, that, new reference, I might be here for a little bit, bear one. Just saying it would, looks like it would be good for reducing circulation to the half. Uh-huh. She opened her shop back up yet? Yeah, it's open. There's the... Royal Guard uniform, jeez. Expansive. Okay. How many arrows do I have now? 70? Ah, it should do me. Alright, let's go. Into the underground. Uh... Do you know how I know about that animation? The, the the whistling animation cancel to make it look like something bad is that someone was doing that uh let's just say they were using the one of the zonai devices to make it look a bit phallic and then putting link directly under said zonai device and then doing that animation Hip. 
So that's what the world is doing with this game. Okay, so we've got more statues here. I guess we're following this one, huh? Watch the torture video of the Koroks. Yeah. I I haven't because I bet there's spoilers in it. But that's just a compilation of people just uh, doing things to the Koroks. A good weapon flip this one sec. Eleven five thirteen. What have I got a lot of? I think this is good. This this will be fine. This is a good contender. <laughs> they made a spit roast of multiple Koroks. I've been talking about getting Koroks from starting a fresh file and just going around gathering the Koroks and then making a Korok ball. Ball and then just um, catapulting that ball with a trebuchet. <laughs> Would require a lot of effort, but I think once the game is said and done, maybe for memes could do it. Much like that person that went to the effort of pushing Cass in Breath of the Wild from one town to another, so there would be two Cass. That's the kind of effort that it would require. Just... Commitment of many, many hours. To keep them all together. And just move them around. These stone statues are suspicious, written all over them. Ah, you ever heard me, did you? Take a look at this giant statue. And I know it's too dark and hard to see, but look over there. Each statue seems to be pointing in the direction of the next, falling a long chain. You're not going to live long enough to see any more of it, are you, Link? Yeah. Well, well done. That's the problem with allowing creativity, people get creative. Yeah. You can flurry rush that. Yeah. Just sidestep it. You've got to time it. You just listen to the sound and then sidestep it. It's pretty easy. You get used to it. Just, just because I, I can't <laughs> Because I ran away from pretty much all of them in Breath of the Wild doesn't mean I don't know how to fight them. It's just... When you're on three hearts, you know, you gotta not... not fight everything. It's just... it's found it too annoying. I'm not the greatest of players of video games, but I, I do okay. Yeah. Imagine there were Koroks in this underground area. That's the, the thing that I feared the most when I first saw this. But then, 
when I saw when I haven't come across a single one yet, so. Yeah. Yeah. Chill and stone is lit up. Yeah, it's just more subtle. Yeah. That's on his foot. Versus the belt. Well, I mean, I have 400 of these, so I may as well. And that acts as uh, a breadcrumb trail, so why not? Yeah. You can see the detail a bit more as well. Yeah. Oh. That one did not... Oh, no, there we go. I just looked weird. I thought for a second it went into an abyss. I think they were pretty clever with this area. The fact that it's in the dark, it just... Whilst... If you were to light this whole thing up, it would look pretty boring. But the fact that it's all mysterious and in the, in the dark makes it... Pretty cool. There's so many structures down here as well. Okay, she's facing here now. Another Yigo. Ah. So another device is here as well. What's up? Yeah. Don't surprise me, don't do that. I thought for a sec you might have been for the Yiga clan. Hurry up and get your research clothes on. Huh? You don't have research clothes? Wait, are you in the Yiga clan? I am not. Don't lie, all the Yigas are masters of disguise. Prove you aren't. Prove you don't have a Yiga uniform armor. Well, take everything off. And ditch the weapons. Not a chance. Shh, looks like I have no choice but to raise the alarm. Your life is mine, uh huh. Take all your clothes off, get naked! If you throw a banana in front of them, they would talk to themselves. Oh, really? That's funny. <laughs> I mean, the banana thing is pretty comedic. I do like that aspect of them. Did you know you can auto-build? Is there a way to turn that hint off? <laughs> it just keeps telling me. Oh, yes! Get down to your underpants, yes! Have I auto-built? I have, yeah. Most definitely have. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. That was not a good throw, admittedly.
Hmm, this doesn't seem correct. I mean, it still says up this hill, so okay, I'm gonna trust it. What am I following? Stone statue. The direction it's facing. These things. why they give you so many of these because you're supposed to just be throwing them out constantly Ooh, a labyrinth where are we this is the gerudo labyrinth more of a chasm. Yeah. Okay, that's the chasm I was looking for. Yeah. It's not so bad. This is something. What is this? This is the pit. Okay, I mean, I thought it was something else. It's fine. Oh. Yeah, this might be problematic. Okay, hold on. Let me drop and get my energy back. Don't. Alright, I'm just gonna be holding up for a while. Hey, Gami, how am I? I'm alright, just chilling. Exploring the underworld. Since I haven't really done much of this at all. It may have been a mistake not to fly. Them. I need their horns. Oh, wait, they're not dropping. Go on. You got this, guys. Damn it, fell off the edge.
Easy recovery. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not going light route to light route, it's just following the statue. Weapons. What have we got to offer me? It's a traveler's sword. I can just grab it. Thank you. A house. The gloom got me. Uh, are you here to help? I'm covered in. So I'm here, you are so heartless. Feel my rage, give me strength. Better die, Link. I knew it. I knew it. Animation is playing, I'm finishing my tea. You know what I read about this game today is that when they delayed it last year, the game was ready. They just wanted another whatever how many months to go over it properly and make sure that things were working the way they should have been working. Which makes you appreciate it a bit more. But just when you consider the building systems and all that, it's, yeah, kind of crazy. Oh, 
I wonder if this was their intent, like, the whole time. And only took now to realize it properly. Meanwhile, Pokemon game <laughs> in the time Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom had their gap. You count the number of Pokemon games that released. And the quality of those. Oh, man. If Pokemon, imagine if Pokemon took their time like one of these games, you know? Just what would come out. about this. I went for mutually assured destruction. This isn't going to be bad. Every time I have the bomb lined up, he just doesn't do it. There we go. Asshole. not working. <laughs> Pokemon's been a massive disappointment. You enjoyed the... Yeah, in, well, you got into it, like, DS and 3DS, enjoyed those. The new ones, have, they're just rushed. That's all it is. It's, And they know they don't have to go the whole way in terms of detail for it to sell. Okay, uh, I guess... I'll just use Gloom Heal. I'll be okay.
I guess I don't need the bees. my bearings. Looks like there's a big area coming up, you can see it. Just consider the number of Pokemon games that have come out between Breath of the Wild and uh, yeah. Tears of the, the Kingdom. So you got, what, I believe it's like Sun and Moon are from the same era of Breath of the Wild. So then you have Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So you have the 3DS releases from there. Then you have the Let's Go series, Shining Diamond, Brilliant Pearl, Arceus and the new ones. I mean, it's fine to enjoy the new ones, but like, you, you've got to admit, the, the level of polish on them compared to other Nintendo titles, it's just, they're not even on the same level. It's good that they're experimenting evolution in gameplay, but they need to take a look at an evolution in quality. <laughs> it's just... I'll drop this, this isn't that great. Like, bring it on par with some of the other Nintendo franchises. Should be looking into that, shouldn't I? Yeah. That uh, that looks very ominous and scary. Did I do the right thing? I feel like I've messed up here. have a harder time investing in the older games. That's just a new issue. Yeah, I guess. At the end of the day, that stuff is personal preference, and that's fine, but... I definitely feel like the sprite-based games had a higher level of polish. If you're talking about relative to the era that they're from, it's almost like Pokemon Company just doesn't have anyone that can do good 3D environments, or they just don't care enough. That's not to say that everything in the modern Pokemon games look ugly. There's things that look nice, but you look at just outdoor environments, for example, like rocks, trees, 
getting things to run at a decent frame rate. And whilst Zelda's not perfect, you look at the visual aesthetic of this game. It's really nice. And it's not like the Switch can't do things that are realistic. Like, look at the world that that Xenoblade does, for example. Like, blows my mind how, how good Xenoblade looks like for a Switch game. So you can definitely do it. But they just don't because they don't have to. Game's gonna sell anyway. I lost track of the goddess statue. Aren't these pillars where the goddess statues used to be or am I imagining it? Hang on. You have to emulate old games since old games give you motion sickness. Oh. Because of the frame rate. What was the last statue? Unless... I've lost track of it. I've lost track of where I am. I can't have deviated that much. Okay, there's one over there. How far did I deviate? It's okay. Oh no, I, I definitely messed up. I was supposed to go in this straight line here. Went off on a bit of a tangent. Yeah. Anyway, I say all that stuff about the Pokemon games just from a place of someone who has a lot of love and nostalgia for this series and I would like to see it do better. Kips. Yeah. That is a vintage meme now. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> how how old how old do you think the Mudkips meme is? Like in your mind, how long ago was it since that meme surfaced? I didn't know that was a Mudkips main. Really? There, there is one. Yeah. Let me show you my Mudkips. I'm lost. There we go, back on track. I forgot what website it was, but this website for April Fool's one year put, uh, like just Mudkip as everyone's avatar.
seems to be an inside joke. I think it went beyond that because I've seen a lot of April Fools just websites use Mudkip. I mean, there was a copy pasta for it as well. Yeah. I forgot what it was. I, I would not be able to, uh, like, remember it word for word, but... Just look up the Mudkip copy pasta. Maybe the Mudkip meme is showing how old I am. <laughs> More than anything else. Following the statue forever. Yeah. Yeah. I already see the other ones straight ahead. Seven. Abandoned Gerudo Mind. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be here, but okay. I did follow the statue this way. <laughs> it's Koga. Let's give him a surprise. Wow. Did not flinch once. Oh, there are riders. It's the right hand, right? Why isn't this working? 
<laughs> you back there. Take over for a while. Ha! <laughs> huh? That's you again. <laughs> so, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did exactly, but it refuses to work. You tricked me. I won't stand for this. You wasted some of my time, but now no more. I'll battle you, beat you, and I'll steal that power back from you. Prepare yourself. It feels like a Crash Bandicoot fight a little bit. It's just some music. <laughs> what the fuck is this? No idea what this is. I don't know what this thing is supposed to be. What is this thing? I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be. Honestly. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just got yeeted. Ah, bleh. This place has too much sand. You're the uh, you're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm going to let you off easy again. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation steal the ancient powers over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. We've been collecting a mighty power source scattered across the land. Crystallized charges. And we're going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself. The magnificent one. Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway. And the restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the eastern abandoned mine. We're just gonna let him- NOW! Away I fly! We're just gonna let him get away. Greetings. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The eastern abandoned mine that man spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lanaru mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You might be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lanaru mine. I recall the chasm on land in the Lanero wetlands. There is also one south of there in a mountain range. There is one thing, one other thing before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema stones. You may want to ask for one. Nice. More battery. Yes. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not yet have. Allow me to rectify that. Hovercraft. I'll also prepare the parts required to test it via auto build. I am curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build would do if you have insufficient parts? I know this one. Excellent. Then please put the schema stone I gave to good use. That's the hovercraft. Guess so. <laughs> I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to a supply shortage in the bases. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The depths are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least bit edible. You'd think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredient and food stock, but no. That wretched new recruit ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. There's a treasure that way. Um. I mean, I should, right? I didn't get the light route. Hold on.
Wait, wasn't there a light right here? Was I imagining it? I can't fast travel here? No, come on. There's a refinery here. Damn. Didn't mention this. Welcome, I'm Forge Construct. Process Zonite. Zonite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing as before. has to be a fast travel point. Where is it? I've missed it. I thought it would be this central thing here, but it's not. Hmm. I don't want to leave here and not be able to come back. What was he putting his hand on? When I got here. Where he was trying to put his hand on that, I think. I think I walked past this thing. No, that's that one. Is that... I guess that's the closest one. I don't believe it. I'm going for the treasure first. MVP.
Alright, let's have this. Should be starting to see something. I wonder if that's going to cover... Let's see what it covers. Okay, not what I was thinking. Okay, treasure is here. Another mine. There's another refinery here too. Hey! <laughs> The complete set. So this is what it looks like. Oh my god. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. And designs please hold. Okay, it's the same text as always. Instant Scaffold. Ooh, that one's probably very useful. <laughs> this armor. I, I mean, it's supposed to look like an ant, I guess. See, this has a warp point, but the other spot didn't. That's the part that bothers me. Okay, if we look at this mine, it should have one directly next to it. I'm going back here.
What's that light route over there? Oh, what the f- There is a light route there. Was I just that blind and just didn't see it? Okay, I've got to point it out on the map this time, so now I'm not going to get lost. I'll be curious to see what the set bonus for this is. Is it above? It might be above. That might be why. Ah, uh, okay. I see. That makes sense. Okay, now this makes sense. Okay. Treasure directly that way. Just head in this direction. So I need to keep throwing light sources. Doesn't look as uh, necessary anymore. Uh oh. I 
I miss stasis to get these assholes off the horses. Unfortunately, I ran into it down here, but there's no way to get it to the surface, but I got the photo of it at least. More? Enter a whole army of these officers. Why do they why do they keep coming? Still? Oh, this has gotten far more obnoxious than it used to be. At least I get a bunch of this. Okay, keep heading in this direction. It's over there, but I'm getting this first. What is... Moth... What? Ooh, this thing's strong. Uh oh, all these things are strong. may be a problem. This may be a huge problem. It does no damage. Why? Fire. Got it. Mm. 
They look zombie-like, I kind of figured. Gibdo. 40 attack power. Damn. Just for killing it with fire? Oh, dude, I'm farming these things. Unless it's very brutal or something. That's pretty strong for a one-shot kill. Okay, I've reached the edge. Desert Coliseum. Hey, you're technically fire. Would you work? Oh, there's a style moblin. It's fine. Leave it. This uh, seems very ominous. What is this? Big good. rush. I'm down for this. It's gonna get me more ore, so I'm happy about that. had the headshot. Fuck me out. Ooh, this is a new one. Silver. First time running into one. Shulan! <laughs> MVP. Yeah. 
stop pushing him. They pushed him. Damn it! I wanted to charge my spear attack. Oh my god. Is that all of them now at once? Yeah. Oh, it's a four. Get that away from me. You're gonna drop your weapon. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. worth it. I like that. There's more, there's so many treasures that I've just uncovered and just have never done anything. Okay, let's return to the surface for a bit. That was worthwhile. Okay, <laughs> still only 13 light roots. Mm. 
Which I'll have to be careful, because some stables I didn't find wells next to. Like, I know there's one of them that I... I did not do correctly. Okay, doesn't matter. In case you weren't tired of this. I want to see the set bonus. See what it is. Dueling Peaks. Yeah, I was set to go to Dueling Peaks a while. Set bonus shining eyes. Oh, like headlight eyes. Okay, that's the set bonus. What's the set bonus for uh Unfreezable? Ooh, that's that's a good one. more nightshade and okay what is what's the yeah you silent princess and a star fragment man that's expensive yeah we'll leave that <laughs> I'm guessing that sets OP and that's why it's like that <laughs> Have you restocked yet? Wow! Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, to look out landing. Listen to this, I received new info about the deaths. We discovered more statues in Lanero to the east. That region has many chasms. You'll find these statues at the bottom of the two of them. One is on the land in the Lanero wetlands, and the other one is north of Kakarika village. All of these statues have strong resemblance to the Zora. All of them seem to lead to the east. Uh -huh. Given the first statues we investigated help you guide you to a destination, I think these statues are probably guides to somewhere too. I'm so motivated now. I'll keep gathering info about the deaths. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, 
double battery power now. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it here for tonight, chat. Uh, I need to get some rest for work tomorrow. But I want to thank you for uh, watching tonight. It was fun as always. So, tomorrow's Tuesday. Gonna be taking a night off from streaming, so I don't plan on doing anything. But if you do see me do something, maybe it'll be on YouTube. We'll see. But I like to use Tuesdays as a way to kind of just unwind a bit for myself. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back the day after for sure here on Twitch, uh, and we'll continue Banjo-Kazooie and this, so look out for that then. In the meantime, just, uh, yeah, if you want to watch content while I'm away, just head on over to YouTube. Just search for the channel name over there, or go to my website, shambles.gg, that has links to all that stuff and more, so... Hope you do check that out, and if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking out to the end and uh, consider pressing buttons and whatnot for algorithm goodness. Okay chat, thank you so much for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you in a couple days time and we'll continue this, but thanks for watching. Bye chat.